Hello, I'm Debbie Bell Hosking for Finextra TV at EBA Day 2024 in Lisbon. And I'm joined by Dara Kirby of Intercope. We're chatting about instant payments and the opportunity for new technology strategies. Dara, a big welcome. Thanks, Debbie. Great to be here. Lovely to have you in our fantastic studio. Yeah, it's wonderful, yeah. <laughs> bird's eye view the crow, on the Yeah, hole. I was just about to say the crow's nest or the bird's nest of some description, yeah. So we're talking instant payments. Yes. Do you think the new instant payment regulations will lead bank to leverage technologies they haven't used before? Yeah, I think instant payments allows banks to do something different. So the old silos of um, payments going out via you know, their core banking systems and into whatever they have developed in the meantime, whether it be for SEPA or cross-border um, or RTGS payments, I think those traditional silos, um, you get an opportunity with instant payments to develop something slightly different. And we're seeing with some of the customers at Intercope that they're using and looking to, you know, better technologies or more suited technologies for instant payments where things can be done in a lot leaner way and a lot lower latency so that the bank can ensure that they meet the, uh, the regulation timeline for clearing an instant payment. So, yes, there's quite a lot of opportunity. And with the regulation, I guess, it's now mandating that all banks connected to the euro schemes provide instant payments. So, yeah, there's a real opportunity. And we're seeing with a lot of the customers and we're seeing with a lot of the drive from the banks around their strategies. So what is your thought on the future of open source technology? Well, it's a big question, but, <laughs> but yeah, I guess open source is something that, particularly in banking and transaction banking, where you're moving value and, you know, obviously such mission critical, what happens when a transaction moves. Um, open source always had a little bit of a standoff approach from banks because they were more used to the traditional technologies that were supported by the traditional vendors because there was more of a guarantee, if you like, and an assuredness of this vendor does this and we know who to contact. So open source was a little bit, there was a standoff approach, shall we say. But, but more recently, banks have realized that there's so much collaboration going on in the marketplace with open source that there's a lot there that can be used. And in fact, we see with some of the banks like Lloyds Bank, for example, they've actually become, they've developed their own um, open source uh, project office. So they are part of the collaboration as well. So banks aren't just waiting for the communities to develop the open source, they're also getting involved themselves to further the development of these open source technologies. We're talking technology strategies. Let's look ahead now to 2025. It's not that far away. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, what technologies do you think banks should be considering for their 2025 strategies? Are we still going to be talking APIs, AI, cloud, yeah. enhanced data insights or something Absolutely. else? Absolutely. Well, with the instant payments, I guess, to the start of the conversation, there is so much opportunity around the open source, like I said, technologies like Kafka, um, open source queuing technologies, so there's a lot of banks looking to see how they can utilize that in the instant payment silo and then see can they relate that back into the bank later into other payment schemes that they do. So, and then obviously API, everything is API at the moment. So yeah, we're seeing that the API is becoming less in-house and more something they can develop and offer so that they can do payments as a service outgoing. So I think it's something like 15% of IT budgets over the next few years will be concentrating purely on, on APIs. Um, and then obviously AI. AI is, you know, any way you can sort of automate a task and improve the task in the payments processing chain is something which is obviously very, very interesting to the bank and then obviously to the consumer themselves. So we're seeing more and more development from vendors like ourselves in AI, but also from the marketplace and looking at how can we make certain processes a little bit more streamlined. Dara, thank you. It's a great topic to kickstart yes. EBA Day 2024. Thanks, Debbie. Great to be here and uh, good luck with all the interviews you have. Thank you. Thank you.